There are a lot of different payment remedies in the construction industry, but one of the most powerful and the most unique is to use the mechanics lien process to leverage that process to make sure that you're paid and paid on time. My name is Matt Viator. I'm a construction attorney, and for the last several years, I've really keyed in on mechanics lien law requirements across the country to help level set users get what they earn. When a mechanics lien is filed, what's really happening is a pretty simple document is being filed with the county recorder's office in the county where the work's being performed, and that places a claim against the property title. And an owner can't really avoid or ignore that because whenever there's a lien on their property, it's harder to transfer or sell the property, it's harder to get a loan against the property, and ultimately, if they ignore the lien, it could become a larger legal action and it could even result in the foreclosure of their property. Lawyers tend to think of liens in the abstract and about requirements and it gets a little bit esoteric, but as a practical example how this might happen is, say you have a plumber on a construction job and they've done all their work, they did it up to code, everything was fine, there's no defects, the contractor, the GC is perfectly happy with their work. But if that general contractor is having trouble getting paid from the owner, payment might be coming slowly and that may not be the GC's fault, that may not be that plumber's fault, but that plumber still needs to be paid and he's got a business to run. And so by leveraging the lien process and potentially even filing a mechanics lien, that plumber can add urgency to their situation and make sure that owner is paying that GC and that GC can then pay the plumber. Whenever you're not quite that directly tied to the lender on the project or the property owner or even the GC, whenever you're getting further and further down that payment chain, it's harder to make yourself known, make, make your payment dispute known. And by filing a mechanics lien, you get the attention of the, the higher tiers immediately. Lien rights really hinge on the fact that the property is improved. So if your work provides some physical improvement to the property that's more or less permanent in fashion, then you'll generally have mechanics lien rights and as long as that's relating to construction in some way. Nobody likes dealing with mechanics liens, but sometimes they're necessary. So that's why it's important to understand how you can leverage your rights to get paid if that becomes necessary.